St. John's wort is used for a variety of reasons. It's mainly used to help with depression. It may also help with anxiety, an abnormal heartbeat, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, as well as obsessive compulsive disorder. St. John's wort also comes in an oil that can be put on your skin, which can help with bruising, as well as inflammation and uh, healing of the wound. St. John's wort is available over the counter in the United States. However, you should speak with your doctor or pharmacist before using this medication to see if it's the best option for you. The way this medication works is very complex. Two medicals in St. John's wort, hypersin and hyperforin, are thought to be the active ingredients. These chemicals act on the nervous system, which help regulate mood and other functions. Although St. John's wort is considered an herb, it is available for purchase over the counter. It may interact with several medications and over the counter products. Medications and other over the counter products used to treat conditions such as depression and anxiety may work the same way that St. John's wort does. Taking St. John's wort with these medications used for depression might cause there to be too much serotonin in your brain. This can cause serious side effects including heart problems, shivering, or anxiety. St. John's wort may also interact with certain blood thinners like Coumadin by decreasing the effectiveness of these types of drugs and actually increasing your risk for clotting. The active ingredients in St. John's wort may be deactivated by light. That's why you will find many products packaged in amber containers. St. John's wort might increase your sensitivity to sunlight, increasing your chances of sunburn, blistering, or rashes on areas of skin exposed to sunlight. Be sure to wear sunblock and protective clothing when spending time in the sun. St. John's wort is generally well tolerated. In comparison to prescription drugs used to treat depression, side effects have been described to be similar or milder and can include trouble sleeping, intense dreaming, jitteriness, anxiety, stomach upset, fatigue, dry mouth, dizziness, and headache. Skin rash, low blood sugar, and a feeling of tingling in the hands or feet has also been reported. Skin may become more sensitive to the sun, so it is recommended that sunscreen be worn and daily doses should not exceed two to four grams. A more serious side effect is serotonin syndrome. This syndrome can occur within a few weeks and is characterized by extreme anxiety, confusion, nausea, high blood pressure, and a fast heartbeat. Eating foods which contain tyramine, such as cheese and wine, can increase the likelihood of experiencing this condition. Finally, upon stopping St. John's wort, withdrawal symptoms can occur. These symptoms are similar to the side effects, but can also include weight loss, cold chills, and thirst. The greatest concern of a supplement is that it can affect how the body uses many medications. This is especially important for older adults because they're more likely to be taking multiple medications. For example, several drugs used to treat Alzheimer's disease, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and body pain are broken down and removed from the body by the liver. St. John's work can speed up this process, therefore less medication is available for the body to use. Be sure to discuss all of your prescription medications and any over-the-counter products you may be taking with your pharmacist before you decide to take St. John's Ward.